the MQ-28A ghost bat's role in Australia's defense strategy is reflective of a larger global shift toward incorporating autonomous systems into military operations. As countries increasingly prioritize technology and innovation, the ghost bat represents Australia's strategic pivot towards cutting edge, cost-effective solutions in a rapidly changing security environment. The platform is designed to address specific challenges faced by the Royal Australian Air Force, while also contributing to broader geopolitical and defense trends shaping the future of warfare. One of the primary advantages of the MQ-28A Ghost Bat is its capacity to work as part of a team of manned and unmanned aircraft, often referred to as loyal wingman operations. This concept was initially outlined by the RAF to increase the operational reach and effectiveness of traditional aircraft. A loyal wingman is essentially a drone that can operate autonomously alongside a piloted aircraft, supporting it in various capacities, such as providing ISR capabilities, offering jamming and electronic warfare support, or even serving as a decoy to draw enemy fire away from the piloted platform. In these scenarios, the MQ-28 can complement more expensive, sophisticated manned assets, such as the RF's Boeing FA-18F Super Hornet or the newer F-35 Lightning II, by performing less risky tasks and extending the range and endurance of missions. This not only maximizes the capabilities of existing crewed platforms, but also significantly reduces the risks to human life in dangerous missions. Furthermore, the modular nature of the MQ-28A makes it adaptable to a wide variety of mission sets. In combat scenarios where a high level of flexibility and rapid decision-making is required, the Ghost Bat's autonomy becomes especially important. With its artificial intelligence and advanced algorithms, it can dynamically adjust to changing mission requirements or battlefield conditions without requiring constant human oversight. This autonomous capacity also extends to ISR functions, where the Ghost Bat can continuously surveil vast areas, analyze data in real time, and provide decision makers with actionable intelligence without overburdening crude platforms. For example, it could be tasked with monitoring maritime choke points, tracking air traffic in contested airspace, or even detecting the movement of hostile ground forces, all while remaining out of harm's way. An important aspect of the MQ-28A's value lies in its ability to conduct electronic warfare. Modern warfare relies heavily on the use of the electromagnetic spectrum to disrupt communications, navigation, and radar systems. The Ghost Bat, with its built-in EW capabilities, is designed to engage in these types of operations, which are vital in contested environments uh, where conventional air defense systems and communication networks may be jammed or rendered ineffective. The drone's advanced electronic attack systems allow it to deny or degrade enemy command and control systems, providing a critical advantage for Australian forces. Additionally, the ability to operate in such a manner with minimal human involvement offers operational flexibility in situations where traditional aircraft would be vulnerable to electronic countermeasures. The Ghost Bat's potential extends beyond traditional battlefield operations. Given its versatility, it can also serve in humanitarian missions or support peacekeeping operations. In disaster-stricken areas, for instance, the MQ-28 could provide real-time aerial surveillance to identify hazards, coordinate rescue efforts, or deliver supplies, all while maintaining a safe distance from hazardous conditions. Its range and endurance make it well-suited for such tasks, enabling it to cover large areas with minimal support. Despite these numerous advantages, the MQ-28A's development has not been without its challenges. As mentioned earlier, the drone's exclusion from the United States Air Force's Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program represents a significant obstacle. This program, which is set to define the future of autonomous combat drones, saw competitors like Andural and General Atomics advance to further stages, leaving Boeing's MQ-28 out of the spotlight in the U.S. market. However, this setback may not be as detrimental as it first appears. The Australian government's continued investment, including an additional AED $399 million, or USD $258.8 million, 
allocated in February to 2024, demonstrates Australia's unwavering commitment to the program. This funding is used not only to advance the development of the MQ-28A, but also to ensure that it aligns with broader defense goals, such as enhancing Australia's strategic autonomy in defense capabilities. Moreover, by continuing the program domestically, Australia is positioning itself as a leader in autonomous systems, reducing its dependency on foreign suppliers and creating a self-sustaining defense industry that is capable of developing and maintaining these advanced technologies locally. Another key element of the GhostBats development is the integration of advanced manufacturing technologies. Boeing's Fisherman's Bend facility uses cutting-edge robotics and composite materials to streamline production and reduce costs. Techniques such as robotic drilling, shimless assembly, and full-size determinant assembly allow for faster, more cost-effective manufacturing, which is essential in a time when defense budgets are often stretched. By innovating on the production side, the MMQ-28A becomes not only a high-performance aircraft, but also a more economical solution compared to traditional unmanned platforms. This cost efficiency makes it an attractive option for other nations seeking to adopt autonomous systems without the prohibitive expenses associated with more advanced unmanned aircraft. Looking toward the future, the MQ-28A is part of a broader global trend where nations are increasingly investing in AI-driven autonomous systems. The U.S., for example, is already advancing the XQ-58 Valkyrie, a drone developed by Kratos that shares many similarities with the Ghost Bat. The Valkyrie, like the Ghost Bat, is designed for manned-unmanned teaming, acting as a complement to crewed aircraft by performing support roles or carrying out high-risk operations. While the Valkyrie is largely a technological competitor to the Ghost Bat, the two platforms highlight the growing recognition of unmanned systems as force multipliers in modern warfare. Meanwhile, Europe is exploring similar technologies with the Dassault Neuron, a stealth USAV developed in cooperation with several NATO countries. While the design goals differ slightly between these platforms, they share a common objective to integrate unmanned systems seamlessly with, with crewed platforms, enhancing the overall capabilities of military forces and reducing risks to human personnel. The strategic importance of the MQ-28A extends beyond its military capabilities. By developing such an advanced platform, Australia strengthens its position within the Asia-Pacific region, a critical area for international security. As tensions rise between major powers, particularly in areas like the South China Sea, having a technologically advanced autonomous fleet that can perform reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and combat missions provides Australia with a critical edge. The MQ-28A also serves as a force multiplier in the event of coalition operations, where Australian forces can work alongside allies, such as the United States and other regional partners, to share the burden of high-risk operations and maximize the effectiveness of available resources.